Actually, go my son, and welcome back to Undertale. Um, I did a didn't do a whole lot of grinding off camera because we only have to get 750 because of all of our deaths and genocide. And uh, I guess our first pass of this playthrough as well. So we can now have enough money to buy the Temi armor. Te armor defense 20 makes battles too easy. Buy more than one. Hmm, interesting. It's only worth 500. Don't want to risk selling it and then not being able to get it back. <laughs> Got my discount. I buy some Tim Flakes because I want to screw around with the encounter tab. Because there's apparently some interesting things you can do with the Tim Flakes. But obviously you need them in your inventory to do that. And I need to start my timer as usual. Filled with the Temmy Nation. Temmy Armor. Temmy Armor. Armor Defense 20. The things you can do with a college education. Raises attack when worn, recovers HP every other turn, invulnerability up slightly. Okay, so attack is zero, defense is zero, two from weapon, so... See how much it gives me. Holy balls! <laughs> gives you like ten points! Holy shit! No wonder it says battles will be too easy. <laughs> Crap. And no wonder they don't let genocide people have it. Because it would make the bad time too easy. Oh man. <laughs> okay, that's a hell of a jump. Tammy armor. Uh... I guess I'll sell these last pair of set of glasses to her. There you go. Oh, by the way, if you get into the, um... I can well see if we can get... There we go. You got a Tem Flakes! I gotta have the Tem Flakes, but I gotta pay for grad school! <laughs> Temmy, always pursuing higher education. Gotta give her points for that. There you go. So there's a couple of ways to sort of con the game into getting you the Temmy armor. Which is cool, because otherwise you'd be grinding a lot, and in this game that kind of isn't very fun. Kind of why they make you do it in the Genocide Police, probably. Welcome to Tem Village. Alright, now that we're sufficiently decked out with the Tem armor, let us find a Temmy and feed her some Tem Flakes. Her? Him? I'm assuming they have both genders, because we have Bob, and Bob would be a man. Although I say that, I suppose if they're all one sort of any gender anyway, they one could be named Bob anyway. Oh no! Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Old genocide habits. I kinda wish there was more interactivity with the sets of monsters like these two. Whoops, I'd say Aaron is looking around. Fearful of, fearful of something because of the music we played earlier. <laughs> Cute. Okay, uh, no, 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 no. Don't scrub me clean. Oh god, ow. Oh jeez, would you look at that? I took one damage and then I healed it off. Clean me up. <laughs> wow. This armor is ridiculous. Alright, well, just gotta get a Temi encounter. Once we get a Temi encounter, I can mess around with her for a little bit. I still hold the head cannon that Temi's just... When they're reproducing, they just, just like, shudder violently until some, a part of them pops off and becomes a new Temi. <laughs> like some kind of demented starfish. Or it's like... They vibrate so intensely their face comes off like you can see in the battles and then when their face comes off it grows into a new Temi and then the old Temi grows a new face <laughs> ah! Okay, come on, give me a Timmy. Give me a Timmy. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, no, but I can only go... I can't. I, I almost wave dashed there, guys. I almost wave dashed. Huh. Weird.
You can all apparently you can also alt tab when you're walking and you like walk in place. There we go. Okay, special enemy Timmy appears to defeat you. Feed to feed Timmy flakes. No. Can't blame a bark for tr what the hell is that face? <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> what the fuck is that face? <laughs> Oh, and the music just died for a second. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Can't blame a bark for trying. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Foop! Ow. Timmy vibrates intensely. Yep. Can't blame a bark for trying. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Whoa, hey, I come on. Whoa, that's new. I mean, not really a big deal. The Timmy armor makes me... Timmy accidentally misspells her own name. Note the Y. <laughs> oh, Timmy, you silly little creature, you. Here, have another one. Foob! Ah. No, stop chasing me with your crazy legs. Timmy vibrates intensely. Yay. Okay. Ah, wrong way. Well, this is going to make the rest of the game significantly easier. <laughs> Which is good, because we're kind of just experimenting with uh, what we can do at this point, right? So, you know, we don't really need challenge anymore, so we can just wear the Temi armor and screw around. Which is kind of cool. Toby is apparently a, must be a very big fan of uh, very strange faces, because he's got his characters making a lot of them in his game. Oh, and get away! At this point, I really don't need their encounters. Although I do need to double back through. Oh right, I... God. there's so many things to remember to do. I keep forgetting to call Papyrus. I keep forgetting to call Papyrus. No! So you can wave dash, but I can't wait really to get it to work otherwise. What? Mushrooms? Can you eat them? Are you sure you can't eat them? I try eating them. <laughs> I don't know, Papyrus. That can do some bad things to you. Lanterns? Um, okay. Can you eat them? <laughs> I'm seriously out of ideas here. <laughs> I try eating them. <laughs> He's so serious. Eh, I know where to go. I'm just gonna sit in the middle here. Yeah, they do one damage to me now. And I heal every other round anyway, so... Whatever. I am invincible! But I'm still gonna run away. <laughs> There's no response. Serious mode activated. Note the sound of the voice coming out of this echo flower, by the way. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamur, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity, and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Bring it, I got the Temi armor! I'm fucking invincible. 
Undyne, I'll help you fight. Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. Wait, who's she fighting? <laughs> the squeak. <laughs> You're not going to tell my parents about this, are you? No response. Passing conversation. We've seen that before. I'm gonna leave him. This is kind of turning into the like meanie doo doo head pacifist run. <laughs> you're still pacifying, you know, you're still sparing everyone you fight, but you're you're a dickhead every time you can be a dickhead. Which is funny. No, no one said being a pacifist meant you had to be nice. <laughs> um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you? Please? Yes. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. Guess I have to do it. <laughs> you, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Yo, wait, help! I tripped. <laughs> Fuck that! I'm out of here. Undyne, you, you saved me. Huh? They ran away? Yo, you're wrong. They went to get help. They'll be back any second. Okay, I'll go home. She's probably gonna call me out on that now. I probably could have stayed around and watched the animation, but I didn't know if she'd come to me instead. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is, our, is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? <laughs> Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Shing! <laughs> you! You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams! Alphys' history books made me think humans were cool, with their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you! You're just a coward! You abandoned your friend just so you could run away! And let's not forget your whippy goody two-shoe shtick! Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers! You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human! Your continued existence is a crime! Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom! Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting for their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be the voice I stick with, but uh, I don't know. Sounds decent. It's a little too masculine, but I mean, I'm a dude, and I have a... I don't have a baritone voice, but I have a decently deep voice, so it's kind of hard for me to do full-on female. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come! Shink. Unguard! Mundane attacks! Battle curiosity. I was thinking that maybe there'd be like a first-round bonus, but eh. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you're to face danger head on! You won't last a second against me! Ow. When I said face towards danger, 
I meant face towards the bullets! No. <laughs> this apparently pisses her off if we keep doing this. Look, I gave you a spear to block the bullets with. Do I have to explain this any more clearly? Yes. <laughs> Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. Oh, I missed that. What are you doing? Just face upwards. It's not that hard. No. But then flips her spear impatiently. I wanted this to be a fair fight. I thought if I beat you like this, it'd truly show how strong monsters can be. But now, I don't care. I'm not your freaking kindergarten teacher. Unless your kindergarten teacher does this. Oh shit, she went, <laughs> she went into like full on battle mode. Right on. <laughs> yeah, this is where we run. Later. Kinda cool, you actually get to skip a whole lot of dialogue if you do that. Don't get away from me this time! Honestly, I'm doing you a favor! No human has ever made it past Asgore! Killing you now is an act of mercy! So stop being so damn resilient! Nope. Flee! Nope, 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 nope. So much nope. Ah, no! <laughs> Crap. You've escaped from me for the last time! Alphys told me humans were determined! Oh, lady, you don't know the half of it. I gotta remember, I don't need to block- I don't need to actually one-finger death punch those, where, like, I have to go one way, then the other. I just have to be going the opposite way to block them. That was screwing me up in the Undying fight a lot, actually. I see now what she means by that. Ah, I did it again. But I'm determined too! That you are. To the point where you fucking melt if you die. Oh crap, hang on. Damn, screwed it up. Fucked it up. Fucked it up. Determined to end this right now! Ah. Right now. Bam, I'm getting good at this. It smells like sushi. Ugh, I can do with some sushi. That is not a metaphor for cunnilingus. Kung <laughs> right now. Ah, crap. Apparently, if you're doing like a mixed run where like you've killed someone and but like you're not going full on genocide, that makes her that actually I'm pointing at the screen. <laughs> um, that actually buffs her attacks when she does that action. You little brat! Ah, Jesus Christ, Mary Joseph. Okay. I've got better things to do. Damn it, Papyrus, not now! Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Click. Oh, oh! Just made it. 
<laughs> that expression. God, this game has such great facial expressions. Armor, so hot, but I can't give up. Take a cup of water. Apparently you can... Yes. Oops. <laughs> did that work? No, it did. It didn't- it wasn't like directly on her face, I didn't think it would work. Maybe she just licked it up or something. I don't know. Okay. So, we are back at Hotland. Okay, so, thank you all so much for watching. Twitter's in the description as usual, uh, subscription is there as well. Uh, we're gonna go back and do the Undine encounter, I believe, at the, after this, and um, mess with some variables we didn't mess with before, because I was just kind of flipping through them. I have a bad habit, the very first time I play the game, to just flipping through what would be, like, the winning solution. And I, I really have to go back and stop myself and re-examine how to play the game. Well, not re-examine how to play the excuse me, how to play the game, but, um, you know, all the different things I could do. Because uh, I fall into the trap of running into the standard operating procedure, or stop, and then just kind of sticking with it until I hammer the game with it until I win. But, I mean, this isn't the kind of game you do that in. But I kind of did with the true pacifist path anyway, but, you know, shit happens. So anyway, thank you, again, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, ciao for now.